So I just seen on Fox News that we had a Chinese weather balloon moving across the country, spying on us Americans. Well, who does this balloon think it is, huh? TikTok? I don't think so. We finally shot it down over by Myrtle Beach. It was taking all kinds of pictures, of airbrush t-shirts, and many golf places, and we said, enough's enough. Then what did Joe Brandon do the whole time? Nothing. He was just sitting back pulling his pud. Hell, it, it took him three days to realize it wasn't part of the Macy's Day Parade. He was just outside on the lawn of the White House looking up with a pair of binoculars, trying to get a peek of underdog's undercarriage, hoping they were going to drop some candy down on him. And they said, oh, it, it's a weather balloon. It's harmless. It's a weather balloon. Well, I think we all remember the last time a weather balloon crashed in our country. Roswell, New Mexico. Th this thing could be alien. We don't know. We all seen that movie. Nope, this ain't nothing to mess around with. It should have been shot down. And whether it's space aliens or illegal aliens, this thing needed to make like Jordan Peele and get out. We finally got it. We treated this thing like a book in a Florida library. We made it disappear. Hell, we're lucky that it didn't pass by... Mitch McConnell's house too close because then he would have inflated his throat pouch and we would have had two balloons going at the same time. We're lucky that didn't happen. So today I'm going to raise my emotional support beer to all the brave men and women that took this thing out and shout out to Marjorie Taylor Greene for calling in a favor and get one of them space lasers to shoot it down, making this whole thing possible. So here's to you. This thing needed to go. It was... It was out here reminding people the first 10 minutes of the movie up. And that's emotional terrorism. <laughs> it's it's emotional. 